Hello, my friends. Peace be with you. I just came to my place to have a, a time of prayer. And these words came to me and many others. And I want to leave this, rec record this. Every time Jesus, or many times Jesus, uh, came to the disciples, he said this, Peace be with you. And there was a time in John 20, verse 19, the Bible says that the disciples, they were locked behind, they were hiding be be behind locked doors, afraid of the Jews, afraid of the Jews. And Jesus came in, the, in, in their midst and he said, Peace be with you. He was destroying fear with peace. Where there is peace from God, there's no fear. Where there's fear, there's no peace from God. And another verse is that came to me, and I, I was just meditating on this, that the Bible says in Romans chapter 8, verse 14, something so interesting about the importance of being led, being sensitive to the voice of the Holy Spirit. There's nothing more important now in these last days where all prophecies have been fulfilled. You can open the Bible, you can open uh, the newspaper of the day, and you can see the prophecies being fulfilled every day. And you know, the, the, the Bible says in Romans 8, chapter, uh, verse 14, it says, Those who are led by the Holy Spirit, by the Spirit of God, they are the children of God. Um, it, doesn't, it doesn't say, those who are Christians, they are led by the Spirit of God. No, those who are led, those who have the seal of the Spirit inside of them, they are led, they are sensitive to be at the right time, doing the right thing, at the right place, following God's instructions. They, those are, those who, the Father has a seal, knowing them as the children of God. And you know what? Another thing very interesting that God put in my heart about these times, and now the bell is, is, is ringing, um, is just those amazing words from Jesus. Before Jesus' crucifixion and he was arrested, Jesus knew that Jude, the traitor, he, 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 he predicted that Jude would be the traitor. And even then, even then, Jesus loved him until the end. And this uh, written in, in um, Matthew 26, verse 50. When Jude came and betrayed Jesus with a kiss, and Jesus turned to him and said, Friend, why have you come? Friend, Jesus called him friend. He loved him. He gave him an, an opportunity for salvation till last second. And before that, that's what I want to reach. Before that, Jesus was sharing one of the most important parables. He wants for the disciples to grab, to keep in the mind the most serious, important uh, words. And one of them, I believe, is written in Matthew 25th, verse 1 on words, the famous or the most the, the important parable of the ten virgins. Five were fools, five were wise. But what's, what's interesting here, then when we read that, and God is like giving me so much revelation about this, and this is exactly what is going on today in the church. People, they go to church, I said this many times, but they are not led, they, don't, they are not sensitive to the voice of the Holy Spirit. They are not completely surrendered to the voice of God. So they go to church, they show all external signs of worship like anyone else. They close their eyes, they raise their hands, they worship God, they go through the, all the procedures, all the instructions, they go to all the um, um, courses, they do everything for years. But inside they do not know the Lord. They are in fear. They follow the, 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 the system of the world. They are completely bound by the spirit of fear. They have no peace. Why? Because only those 
who are the wise virgins. They keep the oil, the anointing. They are always on fire. They have a humble heart. They have a thirsty heart. They are the remnant. They understand the prophetic times of the church. They, they left behind all other things. Nothing else matters. Of course, we need to work. Of course, we need to provide to our family. Of course, we will continue with our commitments, with the society, with everything. But what I mean, you know what I mean. Inside, we are expecting the coming of the Lord. And we keep in fear and trembling before God. Because we know how much God loves us. My friend, don't be distracted. My friend, those who listen to me, and I'm talking to myself first. Don't be distracted. Don't be a full virgin. It means that you are in the right place, yes. You are among the right people. But inside, you will never leave anything behind because of the Lord. You are afraid to lose reputation. You are afraid what the other people say about you. You are concerned about what your neighbors say about you. You are looking for money, you are looking for better house, you are looking for, for uh, credentials of the world, my friend. Get rid of that. Because those will be left behind. Because when the Lord comes, they are not led by the Holy Spirit. They don't have the seal of the Holy Spirit inside. Hallelujah. Praise God. I hope this word can bless you as it has blessing me. Let's fear the Lord. Let's war on fear. The fear of the devil is a spirit, is a demon. My friend, pay attention to this. Every time you feel fear, is not a feeling, is a demon. Is a demon. Let's do war on fear. Fearing the Lord. Be sensitive for the voice of the Holy Spirit, my friends. There's great battles, but there's great victories ahead of us. The church that God is coming to bring, to, to take, the church will be a glorious church. Not a church with fear. It's a conquering, ch conquering church to possess, to plunder, to prosper. In Jesus' name, amen.